Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase of Rocky Mountain. Thank you for checking in. All right, so today's video, our 2023 Premium Helmet Buyer's Guide. Shopping for a premium helmet is pretty tough because there's a lot of really good options. In fact, I've got eight. Somehow I managed to squeeze eight helmets into this video. And this isn't even all the great helmets that are out there, but these are the top eight helmets that we have chosen that we wanna show you today. And when it comes to helmets, I can honestly say that you can't go wrong with any one of the helmets that are up here today. In the last 10 years or even five years, helmet technology has really come a long ways. And it's pretty cool to see what helmet companies are doing. I believe all these helmets are very safe. I know some riders are gonna buy one just based off of looks alone, which is fine. And some riders might pay attention to more to the, the individual or the different safety factors or technology that these helmets have and make a decision based off of that. So here's the best advice I can give. As I go through and I talk about this today, I will be brief. I'm just gonna mention a few of the highlights of each helmet. Watch our product spotlights where we do full detail reviews on all the helmets. We have ride reviews on a lot of these and that information there is gonna be really good to help you decide or just read ride reviews on the product page and see what people are saying about these helmets. That's really gonna help you out. And the last thing I will say before we talk about them is just our fit guarantee, which is important. You wanna make sure that you get a helmet that fits you correctly to give you the most protection. So use the sizing guides. But if you do buy a helmet, let's say you buy the SE5 Carbon from TLD, if you don't like how it fits and you wanna try out a Fox V3 RS, that's fine. Send us back the TLD in brand new unused condition and we'll ship you the Fox and give you free shipping both ways on that first exchange. So definitely take advantage of that. Okay, let's get through these because like I said, we have eight helmets up here today. So first up is the Liat 9.5 Carbon. So what's cool about this helmet is full carbon fiber construction, it's super lightweight. And as far as fitment goes, all these helmets are comfortable. I've had actually multiple riders say go through and try on every single one of these. And some riders like the fit of one helmet more than the other and opinions are always different. But again, that's why we have that fit guarantee. But I've worn this helmet before. It's super comfortable. It's super lightweight. I do think that for riders that wear with glasses on, this would be a good option because a lot of us kind of felt like when we had it on that we weren't getting really a lot of contact with the, the comfort liner up in the temple area. So if you have glasses, might be a really good helmet for you. But super lightweight. If you're an off-road rider, what's cool is that they actually have some tabs here on the chin bar to route your sip tube through. So if you rock one of those when you ride, this could be a really good option as well. You also have some pretty cool technology in here. Aside from that carbon fiber shell, you have their 360 turbines, which Again, watch the product spots to learn more about those. But lastly, what's unique about the Liat is not only is it priced pretty dang good at about 600 bucks for this helmet, but you also have a pair of these 6.5 goggles from Liat that will come included. So again, that's a 9.5 carbon from Liat. Then up here in the front, you have the Fly Racing Formula Carbon. So I would say that just all together, this is probably one of my favorite helmets. It's super lightweight, it's really comfortable, and when you watch the videos and you talk about technology, this thing is packed full of features. You've got their Conehead EPS liner, which is really cool, does a great job absorbing impact. You have their energy cells by Rian on the inside. A lot of cool technology, but what I notice most about this helmet is just how lightweight it feels. And I like too that the eye port on the formula is very large. My only nitpick that I'd have with this helmet is that the visor I feel could just be a little bit longer. But aside from that, the Formula Carbon, really good helmet. Right here we have the Troiler Designs SE5. Again, this is the carbon version. So with the SE5, again, super lightweight, all carbon fiber construction. What's cool about this though is that on the inside, what TLD did as they were building this is that they wanted to increase and put as much EPS, which is expanded polystyrene as possible inside this helmet to absorb the most energy in an impact. So they've added extra EPS liner in certain key areas where you're most likely to have an impact, but you also have a four piece liner inside here that are all different densities depending on where they're placed. And on top of that, you have the MIPS Integra system. So a lot of us now are familiar with MIPS, but the Integra system is the latest and greatest from MIPS that is integrated into the helmet. It vents well. I love the look of the TLD. So again, that's the SE5 carbon from Troy Designs. Up here in the front, the Shoei VFX Evo. So Shoei is a Japanese company and they're pretty traditional. All their helmets are handmade. And I will say that the VFX Evo technology wise doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles that some of these other helmets do have, but these guys kind of stick to what they know and what they feel works the best. You have their aim plus shell technology. And I will say, however, that from a fitment standpoint, that this was one of the favorite fitting helmets 
of all the riders. A lot of riders talked about how comfortable this was. I'm one of those. I would probably say this is my favorite fitting helmet that is up here on the table. But what I also love about Shoei, again, handmade in Japan, is the fit and the finish of this helmet I think is second to none. I just think the craftsmanship, when you look at how well the paint scheme is on this, you gotta hold it in your hands to really know what I'm talking about. But you can just tell that these helmets are put together so well from the Shoei factory, and that's one thing that I really like. But it does have their meds technology, which is a separate piece on the top for rotational energy management. So again, watch the product spotlight, but I really do like the VFX Evo. Pretty unique looking helmet, but I love it. Now with the VFX Evo, a couple things that I think could be a little bit better. So one is the weight factor. This is the heaviest helmet that is up here on the table, but most helmets that are Snell certified tend to be a little bit heavier. And the other is just the price differential. And what I mean by that is from a non-painted or a solid colorway, and then going to a painted version, there's almost a $200 price gap. So I wish there wasn't such a big price gap to get a painted version, but overall, very happy with this helmet. Definitely one of my favorites. All right, right here we have the Fox V3 RS. So this helmet's pretty polarizing. Some riders really like the way that the Fox helmet looks. So for me personally, it's grown on me. Initially, I was kind of like, yeah, I don't know, but I like the look of the V3. But on top of that, it's a comfortable helmet. I've spent a lot of time in this one. A couple unique features is their Verisorb EPS liner. So it's a multi-density EPS liner on the inside. Kind of looks like I call it salt and pepper. But you have that with the EPS, but you also have the MIPS liner system on the inside. And I also too think that the V3 is one of the better venting helmets. You've got these really big vents up here on top, just underneath the visor. You've got really large chin bar vents. And this is one of those helmets where when I put on a ride, I can really feel that air coming through. So again, the V3 RS, rock solid helmet. They do have their magnetic visor release system. So there's actually a magnet in the center to help that visor break away if you do have a crash. So next up up here in the front, this is the Alpine Stars M10, the Supertech M10. So Chase Sexton, all the star guys, you see Dylan Ferrandez, and I won't lie, when I see this helmet, I just think of Chase Sexton and I think a perfect form on a motorcycle. But with the M10, all carbon fiber construction, super lightweight. This is, I would say, probably one of the lighter feeling helmets that is up here on the table. I would say this, the Formula and the Leah are the three lightest feeling when you have them on. And this was another helmet that for a lot of riders, a lot of riders really stood out as being very, very comfortable. And what's also cool about the fit on this is that they have their A-head fit system where you can actually adjust where the comfort liner sits inside here to give the rider the best fit possible. You can adjust it up and down so it sits a little bit farther forward or back on the rider's head. But all carbon fiber construction, and they also, kind of like Troy Designs, they have a multi-piece EPS liner on the inside of different densities to absorb impact in those key areas. But you also have a custom MIPS liner system that they did specifically for this helmet on the inside. And as you can see too, a really good venting scheme with the Supertech M10. So really enjoy this helmet. Up here in the back, you have the Bell Moto 10 Spherical. So this is the latest helmet that has come out. And I do wanna point out real quickly, if you're shopping for a Snell certified helmet, the VFX Evo and the Moto 10 are the two Snell certified helmets. If you're not too familiar with Snell, do some research on it, but it's a nonprofit organization and they're known for having the more rigorous testing standards that are out there for helmet. And so a lot of people always like to stick with a Snell certified helmet. So if you're in that boat, those are the two that I would check out. But, so the Moto 10 Spherical. One thing I'd say is this helmet price point, it is up there. You're 800 bucks or more for this, but there's some pretty unique technology. And I would say that Bell, you know, they've been one of the leaders in the, you know, the helmet category for a lot of years now. But when they came out with this, here's what's unique about this. So they have their segmented carbon fiber shell and you can actually see it. This top portion here is a separate piece of carbon fiber. And if you were to remove this right off the top, it would actually reveal these giant vents, basically one large vent underneath that piece. And so that's really gonna help this helmet breathe and get that hot air out. So in hot conditions, if you feel like you sweat a lot and you feel like you're overheat and your head gets really hot when you're riding, if you're looking for a really unique, cool venting design, this will be one to check out. Also on the inside too, they have their, what is called their spherical liner system. There's actually two liners inside here and kind of like with MIPS, how it's designed to help, you know, with rotational energy management, with, with the two liner systems being separated from each other, it allows us to move freely. Their spherical liner, it's pretty unique. My only gripe with the Moto 10 is the visor. 
there's no center screw and I've had times where one side of the visor I can get to stay snug and nice and tight, but the other side is kind of loose and it feels like it flaps around a little bit. But other than that, really cool helmet, very unique looking, kind of like with the V3, it's kind of polarizing. It has grown on me a little bit. Not my favorite looking helmets on the table, but it's not ugly by any means. All right, last but not least, over here on the very end, you have the 6D ATR2. So when 6D released the ATR1 several years ago, it kind of shocked the industry because they have what they call their ODS, which is omnidirectional suspension. And what you have are two EPS liners on the inside, kind of like the Moto 10, but those two liners are separated by what they call their isolation dampers. And the purpose for those is a couple reasons. One, it helps the two liners move freely of each other. So they say they move in six degrees of motion. That's where they got the name 6D. So it acts as a free moving or two separate liners moving freely, but it also, they compress to absorb those linear impacts. And they also have their low friction discs. And if you watch the product spotlight, you'll see that there's actually kind of a plastic skeleton in between the two liners to help them move even more when you do have a big impact. So again, that's a helmet that I spent a lot of time in. Really cool. It's a larger looking helmet, so it took me a little bit getting used to, but overall, the, with the ODS technology, for people that buy a 6D helmet, I don't think it's necessarily because they think it's the best looking helmet, but because they feel like it has the best and the safest technology on the inside. So again, it's all down to rider preference. You look at these helmets, some of you might gravitate towards one because of how it looks, the paint jobs, the different colorways that are available. Some of you might look and say, oh, I feel like if I buy this helmet, I'm getting the safest helmet that is available. And again, that's totally up to you. But hopefully this kind of help you decide, you know, which one might be best. You're seeing them all just next to each other. Maybe there's one that really stood out to you. So go watch the product spotlights, read rider reviews. You can watch the versus videos, all the other content that we have on these to help you decide which one you feel is gonna be best. If you want some more feedback, some more questions, leave those down in the comment section below. And to grab your helmet today, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. As always, all orders over 75 bucks ship for free. And keep in mind too, for a lot of these helmets, like the Liat, the Fly Formula, the TLD, they do have a more budget-friendly option of a lot of these helmets that just come in with a, say, instead of having a full carbon fiber shell, might have a composite shell, but you get the same technology, just at a lower price point. So definitely be sure to check those others out. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the trails.